Brewster here with the New Brewster's Millions of Brands, and this is Play With Yourself. And I realize the title I gave this episode sounds lewd and crude, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about playing guitar by yourself. And this is loosely based around call and response phrasing, which comes from blues. And typically in call and response, you know, phrasing from blues music, you'd typically have a vocalist that would sing a line, and then an instrumentalist or a musician play a lick or a line after that. Call and response. But then you can definitely hear guitarists kind of mimic this, you know, just solely on the guitar. Maybe they play a little bit of rhythm and then they grab a lick or a fill or something or some lead. And they kind of trade back and forth between rhythm and lead. And this is a really interesting way to practice. And it is, you know, kind of related to call and response phrasing from blues. So I'm going to share an image here. The top three are song examples from people like Albert King, Muddy Waters, and Chuck Berry. The bottom three or more or less, you know, kind of guitar-focused call and response or this rhythm and lead phrasing from people like Stevie Ray Vaughan, Joe Satriani, and Andy Timmons. So check these songs out if you want to hear a little bit of what I'm talking about here. So my exposure to this type of practicing and this approach to playing uh, actually came from Paul Gilbert, and he actually shares this during his Intense Rock 2 instructional video from back in the day. I think that was in 1991. And about 35 minutes into the video, he starts talking about phrasing. And he actually uses a riff from Mr. Big, and he talks about how he started doing this as a warm-up, you know, like backstage and stuff. He'd play like a bar of rhythm, and then a bar of a lick, and then a bar of rhythm, a bar of a lick, and kind of go back and forth. But if you haven't seen Intense Rock 2, you definitely have to check that video out. It's essential. So in Paul's classic video, he's basically playing with this riff. Right? And he plays that rhythm riff right there, which is kind of like a bar, and then he plays a bar of a lick. So doing something like this, I'm going to throw some Paul Gilbert licks in there like this. Just kind of serving up some Paul Gilbert isms like that, like the Demartini thing. And that kind of slip and slide. And I was doing some string skipping in there. And then the good old Ace Freely lick. talking about just playing a little bit of a rhythm and then playing a little bit of a lead or a lick and then just kind of weaving back and forth all right so that was basically a version or variation of what paul gilbert was sharing in intense rock 2 and you know definitely you could use anything it could be any riff it could be any licks it doesn't have to necessarily be in the key of g minor but uh just to kind of help you see what we're doing because it might be really hard for you to just jump in there and start playing you know paul gilbert's example so let's take it easy let's do something really simple Let's just break down what I played during the intro. And it's loosely based around G minor. Like the rhythm part I was playing was just this. Right? Like G5 right there. And then a G5 over B flat. So you're kind of implying G minor. And like a C sus2. Right? And that's all I was doing. So that's really simple. And I recommend, you know, when you start playing with this, the rhythm part should be really easy. You know, nothing challenging. Don't whip out something crazy like 17 by Winger or something. You want it to be really, you know, pretty easy to grab and play, kind of basic. And then answer that with basic phrases too, like simple melodies and really connect with what you're playing. Because what this is going to teach you is how to phrase, you know, basically how to start and end phrases. And they're going to be really short in the beginning, like this. Just start like this. That's what I played right there. So I'm basically sliding into that F. And I also 
also end with the open G. That way that last note can ring so I can go back to the chords right there. And you might want to set up your phrases like that to end where you can go right back to that rhythm like this. part again. And the second phrase I did is right there. It's a tight little phrase that fits in that little opening and then you go back to the rhythm again. crazy no ingve licks or whatever just keep it real simple and flow you know kind of groove and get into it then i put an albert king lick in there like this right? and i also held that final g you know past the point where the rhythm started so then i just started playing the open strings to kind of fit in time like that. And that last lick actually starts before we hit that C. Like that. So when you play through those phrases, you're really just kind of moving from that rhythm to those lead licks, like this. start playing with this idea you want to keep your phrases really simple you know the rhythm is simple the licks and lead that you're adding is simple and you can always make it more complicated later but just to gain access to this concept and really kind of get an idea of what we're doing start simple and then you can work your way up but uh, for this now what we're going to do is take all those same six phrases I've already shared but we're going to add an additional lick at the end so for that first phrase we were doing this <laughs> to that is right here. So we're going to play with the flat 5, that D flat to C, and that B flat to G right there. So start playing with this, and we're just kind of adding another phrase, like this. Put it way down there, 
sounds almost like Jeff Beck or somebody. We also bend it. Albert King phrase, and then we could actually bend that little uh, kind of half step movement. And then finally, that extended phrase. just taking that original concept and adding an additional lick to it and then over time as you get comfortable with this concept and kind of get used to doing this you can make your lead phrases longer and longer you can actually shorten your rhythm as long as you're kind of keeping in time and kind of moving back and forth properly but you can start experimenting with playing longer phrases all right that's going to wrap this episode of Brewster's Millions of Rants with play with yourself and this is a very interesting and beneficial concept something different you can kind of throw out you know when you're practicing you know by yourself at home and obviously this you know, practice will extend into group playing, like if you're playing with a band or another guitarist or some other musicians. You know, tightening up your phrasing you know, in private will definitely help you improve your phrasing you know, in public. But you have to start somewhere. And I definitely recommend you know, start with simple you know, rhythm, simple licks, and then you can start kind of pushing this into you know, more advanced territory and harder ideas. And you can definitely start shredding and start, you know, playing like prog rock or metal or something like that. But you want to start, you know, with the basics first. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.